hello guys i'm here again this time around i'm going to be working out um, a question uh, on the statistics group data and we are going to be finding the mean but using an assumed mean all right so let's move on the first thing we need to know is this we must get the formula what is the formula for finding mean using assumed mean now this is the formula the formula is mean, which is denoted by this, is equals to A plus summation FD all over summation F. Now, you need to understand what this um, letter stands for. The first letter, which is A, stands for assumed mean. Okay. Then we we've seen f of course f is frequency then we have d d is for deviation now this deviation d is actually uh x minus a okay and of course x is our mid value now it is important that we know this so we we'll move straight to working uh, questions right now the first thing you need you have your class interval okay you have your class interval we have it already we have 21 to 30 31 to 40 uh, 41 to 50 51 to 60 61 to 70 then 71 to 80 then we have our frequency f of course, our frequency, we have 2, we have 10, 12, 15, 8, and 3. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to get our mid value x. Now, in the previous video, I told you to find x, you sum the upper and the lower class interval and divide by 2. So, let me pick the first one, 21 plus 30, that is upper and lower class interval, divided by 2. You are going to get 51 over 2, which is 25.5. So this will be 25.5. The same thing you are going to do all through. This is going to be 35.5. Then 45.5, 55.5, 5, and 75.5. Now the next thing we are going to get is our deviation. You see, this is very important. So let me change the color so that you know that it's very important. The deviation D, of course, we know is equals to uh, X minus A. Now we begin to wonder, what is A? Let's go to back to the question. A has been given to us. Can you see it? A is 50.5. So we have 50.5 as our A. Then we'll come down to this. So... For the first one, is going to be 25.5 minus 50.5, all right? X minus A. So our answer will be minus 25 here. We'll continue. Here is minus 15. Then we have minus 5. Then we have 5 and uh, 15 and 25. Very important. So we're done with that aspect. Then the next thing is to get our FD. All right. So therefore, F times D. So 2 times minus 25, you get minus 50. 10 times minus 15, of course, we know is minus 150. So we continue to get our answers. You see, usage of calculator is very important in this uh, topic. All right. So you must know and learn how to use your calculator effectively so we've gotten what we actually want the next thing is for us to get now you know we are working with the formula right so we need summation fd and we need summation f so therefore my summation f which is this of course we are going to get 50 that is summation f and uh, summation FD, if we do it, we are going to get 10. All right. So 
very important this is summation f and this is summation f d so we'll move to get our final answer to round up the question so we have our mean x bar is equals to a which is 50.5 then plus we have summation fd which is 10 all over summation f which is 50 all right this is what we have then this is 50.5 plus uh this should be 0 0.5 Adding it, we are going to get, um, is it 0 0.5? No, I don't think 0 0.5. That should be 0 0.2. All right. So, sorry for that. It's supposed to be 0 0.2. All right. So, you are going to get 50.7. So, this is our mean. So, this is how to actually find mean using Azimi. Uh, thank you so much. Do not forget to subscribe.